Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it's time, finally, for tea. And I say finally because, um, as many of you may know, I record most of my weekday videos on the weekend. And I have just totally let this go till Sunday night. Can you believe it? I've had off four days from work and I waited until the very last minute of the very last minute. Yeah, go, go gadget procrastination. Anyhow, it wasn't procrastinating because I don't like tea or anything. It's just one of those things. There's always something else to do. If you're new here, by the way, welcome in. Let the craziness ensue and engulf you and, and just enjoy. If you've been here before, thanks so much for coming back. And as you know, on Mondays, I like to take time for tea. I actually like to take time for tea every day, and you should too. And by tea, even if you're not a person who enjoys tea, take some time for you. Sit back relax, take five minutes away from the chaos that is your regular life and just <sighs> reflect, meditate if that's what you do. Just sit in a closed room, run the shower for five extra minutes and just bask in the steam. Whatever you like to do to make yourself relax and like turn off the regular stresses of the day. Now I'm, what I'm holding in my hands is, it's an example of what is in my teacup right now. It is still steeping. Ta-da, the clear mug is back. And no, there's no clip on there because there's no string on this tea bag. I know, the strings are kind of wasteful, but that's like a little pet peeve of mine. Anywho, this is an herbal tea today because I told you I am recording this on a Sunday night. This is a chamomile lemon. It's by the Republic of Tea. It says one bag per eight ounces of water, 212 degrees. That means boiling hot, folks. Uh, it's 100 degrees uh, Celsius, in case you didn't know that. And it says steep five to seven minutes. I do have my timer on. Once the timer goes off, that'll be about seven minutes. So we can, you know, taste and assess at that point. I always leave it to the maximum time that it says, and sometimes a little more, because this is not an eight ounce cup by any shape of the imagination. So yeah, it, uh, my cups are always bigger. Anywho, what is in this? I'm gonna take off my glasses because it makes it easier for me to read this. Lemon balm, linden flowers, orange blossoms, chamomile, lavender flowers, skull cap. Skull cap? Isn't that what you put on your head, like, to keep warm? There's the beat, by the way. Uh, passion flowers and valerian root. Caffeine free. Potent botanicals such as lemon balm, lavender passion flower, and valerian roots surrender and sweet a what? Surrender a sweet and tranquil tea. Why would they have to surrender the tea? I'm really confused by this. Okay. Delighting palate, mind, and body. This is by Republic of Tea. And by the way, this card that I'm flipping around here, I subscribe to a tea subscription box called Sips By. Not sponsored. I pay for it myself, but if Sips By wanted to sponsor me, y'all hit me up. You know, contact information is down there. And um, every month I get a selection of four teas, each with four servings. So you get four tea bags or enough loose tea for four servings. Um, this is my May teas, and it says right on it, made for Deborah. And I choose, my recommendations are open, wide open. Any caffeine level, black tea, herbal tea, give me all the things. I want to try all the things. That's pretty much what mine says. So I pretty much get all the things. Okay, let's dive into this. Not much color to it, but I guess you don't get much color in an herbal tea. Let's give this another swish around here. And I don't like leaving my tea bag in the cup when I drink, so I'll give it a gentle push, but not a super mega squeeze. And put this on my little plate. Okay. Now, of course, this did come from boiling water just seven minutes ago or so. So it'll be too hot for me to put in my face. Or else it'll burn it right off. It does smell nice, though. I smell the lemon, and it's, it smells like pleasantly like a grass field and I say pleasantly because I know a grass field can smell yucky but this is pleasant like you're outside in a meadow yeah and all of a sudden I just got vibes of an old peppermint patty commercial but you know not quite like that I get the lemon and it definitely tastes very herbal, like an herbal tea. I guess that's how it should taste. I am more of a black tea fan. 
Um, but when it's pleasant and it has lemon, I'm kind of all over it. I bet this would be really good with honey in it, but I'm not going to put honey in it today. Mm. Okay. We'll let that cool off for a few seconds because on the back of the tea bag itself, this is one that I did not open and destroy the bag with. Enjoy this environmentally friendly, round, unbleached tea bag, free of wasteful strings, staples, and tags. Yeah. The leaves take the water and the water takes me. I put up no resistance, surrendering myself to what has entered. Soon I am the tea and the tea is me. The Minister of Leaves. Okay then. And it is a round tea bag. Makes it weird. Oh, let me do that again up close. Maybe you can hear it. <laughs> that sounded gross. I just had to do it again. I'm sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> had a wonderful, very long weekend. Now normally I don't take a lot of days off. I usually work six days a week and uh, put in a ton of hours. But this past uh, week was my anniversary. I've been married for 21 years. Yes, he's been putting up with me for a very long time. <laughs> I am gonna put some sweetener in it now though. This is Sweet Additions. This is Aldi's version of Stevia. I bought it there. It works, it's all good little bit of that in there stir it around you can see it dissolving and it does dissolve pretty well it even dissolves pretty well in cold liquids which I was surprised um, but yeah let's see what it tastes with a little bit of sweetener added to it again I think this would be really good with honey yes much better with the sweetener I love lemon and I'm glad that this is actually lemon forward because um, I like lemon everything, you know, lemon cake, lemon pie, lemonade, lemon pudding, lemon jello. Oh yeah, I'm all about the lemon. Anyway, pretty good, but I did take some time off. We weren't going anywhere, um, you know, go, not going on a trip or anything. This is just time off so that we can just kind of hang out and enjoy each other and just like chill and be that old married couple that we are. <laughs> so that's what we did. And we also got to go to a festival Saturday, which I was really pleased with. Um, we went to the Azalea Festival. You can see my little mini haul a couple of days ago. Um, maybe it was yesterday. Yesterday, when you're watching this, if you're watching this on Monday, it did air on Sunday because I recorded it late Saturday night after going shopping, um, not only at the festival, but then also at a place I haven't been to in a long time called Bargain Hunt. Very random shopping, like, whoa. Mm. Yes, this is yummy. Perfect. Maybe it'll help me wind down to go to sleep. No guarantees, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but you know now I have to go back to work tomorrow so oh yes all of the exciting things of adulting you know when you're a kid you want to grow up because you'll have all this freedom to do whatever you want or whatever whatever you think when you're a kid you know what we're wrong don't grow up ever just retain the youthful craziness as long as you can seriously Mm. quite yummy mm. this is the nighttime calm down version of my lemonade without being very lemony I mean now I love some tart lemonade don't get me wrong this is not tart lemonade lemon this is oh that is something was roasted in lemon that's delightful it's that kind of lemon um, it's not here chew on this lemon because I'll do that too yeah I'm that girl mm-hmm Anyway, strange yellow, don't get any ideas, it's tea, not another warm yellow liquid, no, no, it's not that kind of channel, um, to quote a friend. <laughs> mm. I will be sipping on that for the rest of my evening, and um, I hope that you take some time today for some tea. 
or some coffee or some lemonade or a glass of milk. Of course, if you have milk, you have to have Oreos too. It's kind of a rule. But just take some time for you to chill out and whoosa away the stresses of whatever Monday brings or Tuesday if you're watching this late because I'm there with you. I'm so far behind on watching everybody's videos. I'm sorry. I do apologize. I am late on watching your video and I know everybody. Seriously, I am. But I will hope, hope very much so that you will stick around a little while longer. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. At least consider doing so. And I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.